Hello. So today we'll go through how to take part the 08 and especially how to change the controller. The tools you need, right, are this simple Allen keys, the 3mm, 2.5, the 4 and the 5mm. We're gonna, today we're going to just show you how to change the DC converter, right, uh, the same steps apply to the changing of the controller. You'll see these two screws, right, which hold up the entire uh, frame, right, and this uh, rubber caps. So first step, peel off the rubber cap. Now, uh, well, first off, we need to take off this plastic uh, front piece, right, the plastic cover. So the waterproof seal is just silicone which you can then reapply um, later on when you put everything back. Okay, that pops up. Okay. Okay, so inside you see this connector connected to the charging port. Uh, you will see two metal braces, right? This braces is uh, kind of holding the bottom and top of the frame together. Right, so just unscrew that metal brace. Uh, just uh, long screws that extend from the bottom to the top. Okay, put those aside nicely. All right, remove the metal uh, poles. Okay, and then you'll see a foam pad. It's just for additional uh, water protection. And then that's where you see a whole bunch of wiring. Okay, that's where your controller is. All right, now, okay. So we're gonna replace the DC converter, right? Just pull out all the wires and you should see a uh, DC converter and the controller together. Right, that's the controller. Right, it's like giving birth. The zero it pops up, you know, it's baby. Okay, All right, and this is it. All right, so now if you're experiencing real life problems with the zero eight, right, oops, sorry. Okay, uh, you might want to change out this uh, converter, you know, uh, especially intermittent problems. Try changing out this DC converter and then uh, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, take note of the wiring and then maybe take a picture of it and then uh, replace it with a new one, right, so that you don't get confused with the wiring. Now, if you have to change out your controller, the same steps apply. All right, the only, uh, remember in the first step, you ask you to unplug the rubber stopper, right? That's only if you want to remove the battery. Now, if you want to remove the battery, then what you do, can you show them how to uh, remove the battery? Uh, take out the screw so that they can remove the battery. Right, so stick an Allen key, 4mm, right? No, 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 just pretend. All right, and then unscrew the four screws inside here, right? And that's where you need to thread your allen key screw, right? Take out the four screws, right, inside. And that's when you can take out the battery, right? And then uh, to tighten up the battery, uh, tighten up the screws is the same pro uh, process. So now we don't have to do it because we're not taking out the battery. We're just replacing this DC converter, right? Now to put everything back together, right? Uh, it's a huge organizational job, right? Okay, so let's put everything back together. Let's say we have changed the DC converter. We've got to put everything back together. 
Okay, so take it slow, right? Uh, put in put in the controller first. Uh, the wires would follow. So once the two braces are in, um, okay, you can uh, carefully uh, put the, this uh, charging port connector on the side here, and then slot back the slot back the plastic cover. Okay. So just remember the four black screws. underneath the grip tape. Okay, uh, the only thing that we're not doing this time is to uh, reapply the silicone all around here. Okay, but uh, it's something you can do for additional water protection. That's it. Right, thank yeah. you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more zero videos.